Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well and excited to be getting back to golf. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, with this video. We've given you a lot of content, the previous lockdown, uh, this lockdown that's been very technical. Uh, obviously there's a lot of stuff on YouTube, very technically orientated on, on how to swing a club. So I wanted to do something a little bit different in terms of how to play the golf course. As the new slope rating will show, we have a, a heck of a challenge out there. Um, in my opinion, it's the hardest of all the Open Championship venues, and I, and I really do struggle to find a, a harder course in Europe to play. However, if you can maybe start to understand things a little bit different, you can make the golf course into a, a series of, of easier shots. I think one of the things that, that golfers tend to forget is that the golf course never plays the same way twice. Um, it's a, a consistently evolving entity. You, you know, you might have played it a couple of days ago, but the day you're about to play it, it will play totally different. And especially with it being your home course, I think we all fall into the habit of automatically taking driver on this hole or aiming at this place or taking this club or playing this shot. And, you know, we always tend to get the same results. One of the things I, I like to do, you know, with the people I coach and, people I play with is maybe get them to think a little bit different. Um, a classic example would be the second hole. I, I like to get golfers to maybe ask themselves on the tee, can I get on this green in two? If the answer's no, then why take a driver? Why try and thread it up the left hand side in a gap that I paced it at one point uh, in the summer and it was only 11 yards wide. Now. I'm supposed to be a professional, but my first drive of the day, I don't fancy trying to hit the ball in an 11 yard gap. If you can't get up in two, why not take a hybrid or a club that you know can't reach the bunkers? Suddenly you've got a huge wide open space to aim at. There's a lot less pressure on the shot. You, you'll feel a lot freer and invariably you'll make a better swing. You can then perhaps aim up the right where there's a lot more room for your next shot. Again, that could be with a hybrid or, or even an iron and then the next shot, just aim for the middle of the green. You hopefully hit the green, a couple of putts, and you've walked off with a five. I know it sounds incredibly easy, but instead of trying to play an incredibly difficult drive and then trying to thread one down here, or you can, you know, at least play shots that make you feel more comfortable. I think one of the things with this course is you just feel that you're const constantly under pressure. Every shot you play is is it's hard, it's difficult, whereas there's nothing in the rules of golf that say you can't play shots that are a lot easier. And obviously everybody's different and everybody's definition of an easy shot is different, but again, that's why we have handicaps. So if you feel more comfortable taking a hybrid off there, knocking your next one up the right, knocking your next one down and, you know, two parts or even worst case, next one down on the green, I take six, but with my handicap, I get a net five or, I might get two shots on that hole, suddenly you've, you're ahead of the field really with the stroke average on that, on that hole in most competitions. Um, and you can do that for every hole. It's, it's one of the great things about golf is there's no one way to do it. Um, just because you, you're playing partners in a drive doesn't mean you have to. You play the golf course according to you. The tenth hole, for instance, if, you, if the wind's off the left and you think, oh, I just hate hitting a driver, I always lose it right, then take a hybrid there's there's a lot of there's quite a wide open gap before the mounds just play your shot up there next one just knock it up short to the green next one on a couple of putts okay i've made a five all right i could have perhaps made a four but if i'd have hit one of my customary drives i could be out of bounds and make six make seven wreck my score it's it's like i said it's there's no one way to play the hole and again, depending where the wind is, if it's downwind and you know, you're feeling good, you might want to hit driver, smack a driver down. And, and again, you, you can use how you're playing to, to adapt how you play the golf course. Um, even with short shots, one of the amazing stats for me, I was looking on the PGA Tour, the tour average of getting up and down from 30 to 50 yards is only 43%. Now, most club golfers think that, say from 30 yards, I've got to be getting this up and down, I've got to be getting this close. You really don't, especially if you have a shot. 
There's nothing that says you can't just play a relatively easy shot onto the green, leaving yourself a pretty straightforward two putt. You never know, you might hold one, but the worst case scenario, you've taken three. And if you could perhaps use that to maybe eliminate taking four, taking five to get down, suddenly you've saved yourself a lot of shots. It's, it's one of the great things about golf is that there's so many different ways to play it. And, that's what I'm here for, Simon, Seamus, you know, we've all, we all spend a lot of time researching things and analysing things and, you know, we're more than happy to come out with you. One of the things I like to do is just walk around with people I coach and just observe mannerisms, observe the way you play shots and ask you questions. It's, it's fascinating for us because we see things on a golf course that you don't see on the practice ground. So it's also good for us to look at your swing because we can structure things in lessons accordingly. But it also is we can perhaps open your eyes to different ways to play shots. And, you know, sometimes you've got to check your ego at the door and just understand you, you're you playing an incredibly difficult golf course. You have a handicap. You can play shots that are easy. You don't always have to go for the heroic shot don't get me wrong there are days when you know we feel like we can walk on water and go for it i mean that's the great thing about golf you know you can you know take your jumper off flex the guns and, and give it a whack you know why not great i mean that's that if that's the way you enjoy golf then fabulous i mean phil mickelson's made a career of it so again just because i'm talking about being conservative if that's not your game then great go for it take driver off everywhere and, and, and enjoy it that's the again that's the great thing about golf is there's no one way to play it but please we're all here to help you we we we, we love golfers and members coming in talking to us about their game talking to us about the round honestly you're not boring us we we, we love it it's you know it's our passion as well um, we spend a lot of time researching and, and studying golf and we love the feedback as I said, myself, Simon, Seamus, we're here to help you all, you know, any chance we can get, we would really love to help and improve your golf. So, you know, get yourselves early to bed tonight, up early in the morning, hopefully the weather's going to be good and we'll all really look forward to seeing you all at the club.